Hello and welcome to another bright new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. My name is Tony Abba and it is my pleasure to welcome you to another brief moment of reflection, a light for the nation, a program brought to you by the Catholic Church. Today we are looking at a very important gift to us as human beings, the gift of appreciation. And Reverend Father Kelvin Aneto will be telling us more about this important aspect of our lives. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Almighty God and Father, we thank you so much for the gift of another day. We continue to worship you because we know that we cannot thank you enough. We ask that you give us this gift of appreciation, to continue to acknowledge all that you are to us through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good day, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I want us to reflect on the theme, the gift of appreciation. The gift of appreciation. And for our scriptural passage, let us look at the Gospel of St. Luke, chapter 17 from verse 11 to verse 19. Now it happened that on the way to Jerusalem, he was traveling in the borderlands of Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, 10 men suffering from a virulent skin disease came to meet him. They stood some way off and called to him, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priests. Now, as they were going away, they were cleansed. Finding himself cured, one of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, and threw himself prostrate at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. This led Jesus to say, We are not all ten made clean. The other nine, where are they? It seems that no one has come back to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, stand up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. My dear friends, this is a very familiar passage of scriptures. But sometimes we do not stop to pay attention to what this foreigner did amongst the ten lepers who were cleansed by Jesus today. The others, being Jews, probably felt they deserved the healing they got from Jesus. But this one man, a foreigner, a Samaritan, Samaritans were not ordinarily friends with Jews, felt that he did not deserve to be healed, and he exercised the gift of appreciation. He came back prostrated before Jesus and thanked him. I remember the song from our seminary days. Ten unclean and nowhere to go. Ten men clean, as clean as snow. One returns to give God thanks, but nine 
went away. Ten men left us in a Hebrew town. Ten crying, Lord, would you please come down? No help came till one fine day. Jesus of Nazareth passed that way. So my dear friends, when Jesus passes our way, when Jesus blesses us, when Jesus does great things for us, we must show that we are a people of appreciation. We must give God thanks for the very air that we breathe, for the gift of life, for the gift of family and of friends. There are many, many things to be thankful to God for. We must learn something from the Samaritan leper who was cleansed, who came back to thank the Lord Jesus. We pray for the grace to be able to understand what appreciation and thanksgiving means and to be able to thank God every day of our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a good day today. Reverend Father Kelvin Aneto is of the Catholic Diocese of Uromi in Edo State, guiding us in today's reflections. I believe you have learned how to appreciate God, appreciate people, friends and families who have done something good for you. Because appreciation is actually a gift that we all need to get as human beings to be able to appreciate those who have contributed in one way or the other to us living a better life. If you have questions and you want to share with us, please do not forget. Send a short message to us on the numbers displayed on your screen or send us an email at ctvnigeria at yahoo.com. Or better still, take advantage of our social media handles, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Let's further the conversation and let's help one another to imbibe the gift of appreciation and the good Lord will surely bless us richly. Bye for now and have a lovely day. What would I live for if I don't have you, my life? What would I gain if you take the Holy Ghost? What would I become of me if I didn't see a light? What would I be said of me if you didn't hold my hand? To realize that you are all I am You are all that matters You are all that matters hey! I'll put you in front In front of my melody You are all that matters <laughs> You are all that matters I'll make room for two I'll make room Is it the house or is it the car? I'll give them all to you. Is it the name or is it the fame? I'm nothing without you. What would I become of me if I didn't see your light? What would have been said of me if you didn't hold my hand? So realize that you are all I have. You are all the matters. I'll put you in front, in front of my bed. 
As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. No matter what men bring to me, oh, shut up by your numbers. Oh, can we begin to have koinonia tonight? Can we begin to have koinonia tonight? Can I hear people tonight? They want to speak mysteries. But don't go back to the fire. They said they can't go to the fire. Sing it from your heart now. Oh. 